Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 5th of 2023, well, it is titled Rubens Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, it may look like a typical spiral galaxy, spiral arms swirling out from the center, distinct blue color in the spiral arm showing young star clusters that have formed, and uh, the general structure of a core to the center of the galaxy. So the typical things that we're seeing in a spiral galaxy. So what makes this one so interesting is its size. It is about 800,000 light years across. Now to compare that our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across. So if you think about that from edge to edge, you could fit eight of the eight of Milky Ways across this galaxy. It is tremendous in size for a spiral galaxy. In fact, we find that many spiral galaxies are within a factor of two or so of the size of our Milky Way. They might be half the size or double the size, but eight times is really a tremendous size for a spiral galaxy. Now, other than that, we see that it is a norm, looks to be a normal spiral galaxy with all of the dust lanes and star clusters that we're used to seeing. So how do we understand how galaxies can grow to be so large? And that's one of the things that we still study. And this is an interesting one. And this was called Rubens Galaxy after Vera Rubens work on spiral galaxies and her work on studying spiral galaxies and the way they rotate was the first to demonstrate decades ago that there was dark matter in the universe, that there was far more matter around these galaxies than could be explained by all of the light from the material that we see within them. So everything that we can see there and everything that we can infer the existence of within the galaxy, even things like the dust we can see and the black hole that must be at the center, there had to be many times this amount of matter surrounding it in the form of some mysterious dark matter that is completely different from the ordinary matter that we look that we are used to seeing. And that is proven through the study of gravity that it will that the, ga the galaxy rotates the way it would if there were a lot more material around it. So either our understanding of, gal of gravity is wrong, and general relativity is wrong, or there is a lot of this dark matter. So for every little bit of matter we see within this galaxy, there could be 10, 20, or even 50 times that amount of material in this mysterious dark matter in order to be able to explain how galaxies like this one rotate. So that was our picture of the day for April 5th of 2023. It was titled Rubens Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Methylox. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.